ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, and welcome back to the Era Day channel. Thanks for the great support you are giving, the mystery section is one of the most appreciated. This week we have some really interesting investigations, I remind you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell for notifications on new content. Good watching. The Abandoned Village Astroni. In the next video, we will return again to Sardinia, the Italian island, to visit an old abandoned village in Iglesias, the mining village Asproni. At the end of the 19th century, the engineer Giorgio Asproni bought the mine and founded what was the residential nucleus of the mining plant, composed by 200 families. The village consists of some houses, a shop, the church of San Giorgio, the management offices, the engineer's villa, the school and other small buildings. It was abandoned in the early 1900s, when the mine fell into disrepair. In fact, it was also known as, the mine of the mutilated, because there were serious failures in security. According to some popular tales, here appears the specter of Cavalier Toro, an important character of the zone, in the early 20th century. It is said to be seen both in the village, manifesting itself in a whirlwind of wind, and in the surroundings of the laundry, where it appears on horseback and, as in the best horror stories, headless. Here, on August 1, 2021, the group International Paranormal Special Investigations published the entire investigation on the Esproni village on their YouTube channel Gypsy Files, International Ghost Hunters. The Gypsy group, which we met in previous episodes, during the investigation of an abandoned hotel, begins to receive clear and frightening EVPs from the very first minutes. Cari amici di Gypsy, ci troviamo in uno dei villaggi più suggestivi e più belli della Sardegna. Villaggio Asperoni. The group, formed by investigators Andre D. Deva Aslisha, a special guest Giancarlo Casu from the GC Paranormal, Noah MEA and Ivan B., approaches a house where the magnetic field detectors signal a strong presence, but the EVPs show hostility from the first moment. Listen. Wow, sentito voci, raga. Comunicare anche con questo strumento che ho in mano, eh? sia questo nero e dal microfono. Mi puoi dire il tuo nome? Giancarlo continues to ask questions, but no answers are received, so the group decides to enter the house, the entity, is there, he is silent but observes them, in fact as soon as they set foot inside, a voice is clearly heard. The instruments capture intense electromagnetic activity in the room with the fireplace, in a place totally free of electricity. Here, two different voices sends EVPs and once again, an entity tries to send them away. Listen. Bello questo carmino. Bello questo carmino. It starts raining, and the group decides to leave the house due to the negative energy, the tension created by the EVPs, and the crumbling condition of the roof. They move near the school building, with the hope of being able to hear the children through the spirit box, but things are not going well, entities are definitely more adult and hostile. Ciao! Quanti anni hai? Tocca l'orsetto! The confirmation of the negativity comes now when Giancarlo starts a metaphony session, the entity repeats that he is 30 years old, but, around them, they have no children at all, 
Listen. C'è qualcuno qui? A threatening and terrifying message arrives on the radio, transmitted in reverse, as is usually done by demonic entities, and it repeat the exact age of EVP. Quanti anni avete? The group moves inside the small church of the community. The instruments show very high values inside, but even here, the answers obtained show a certain hostility. State celebrando la messa? Chi è il parroco di questa cappella? Exceptional testimony of otherworldly dialogue in a place that has seen many deaths, suffering, and still bears the evidence today. You can find the video of the full investigation on the official YouTube channel of the Gypsy Group. And what do you think about all these hostilities? Really creepy, right? Let me know in the comments below. The Abandoned Factory Part 4 We recently followed the adventures of an excellent Czech investigator, who on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal, gave us three frightening patrols, carried out in an abandoned car factory in Ostraga, Czech Republic. The factory suffered an explosion causing numerous dead employees and there is a very intense paranormal activity like extraordinary and clear EVPs, lockers that open itself, objects thrown from someone and dark shadows. For those who have not seen our previous episodes, I recommend watching because it is really interesting material. Bono promised his followers greater self-control. On January 11, 2021 he posted this video, let's see how his new investigation went. Hola amigos, welcome to my new video. I'm here again, for the third time. All alone again. No one wants to go with me. Although the factory is completely abandoned, and without electricity, Bono immediately hears very loud noises, similar to falling iron bars. I don't know why, but... What the hell? I don't know why... I don't know why... But... What the hell? I don't know why... Bono returns to the rooms visited in the previous episodes where there was the famous closet with the cups, but while he explores the room, behind him, a painting moves by itself on the wall. Here, yeah, the same, I think. What the hell was that? He decides not to be afraid, and begins an interview session with the entities, which this time, however, have not exactly friendly intentions. Nebo se na to moc sraka? Bojí se toho? Ukáž se mi. What? Chceš, abych odsud odešel? Vadím ti tu nějak? To se znamená ano. Bono decides to change position, to see if the entities behave differently, but the intention is always the same, to scare him to death. Look. So, it seems that the approach to dialogue this time was not very positive. However, we will follow Bono also in his next adventures. Stay tuned. The Ghost of the Pool 
The video we are going to see shortly, is set in a place that is really rare, to be haunted, a public swimming pool, in this case the pool of the Centro Paralímpico Nacional de Arapuato, in Mexico. After opening to the public in 2012, many swimmers, said they saw a dark presence wandering around by the pool, and in the water. The center was abandoned one year later, following further testimony from many people scared, after seeing doors that open on their own and whispered voices. The locals began to think that the place was haunted by a demonic entity, and the government declared the facility out of use. The Mexican group, of paranormal investigators of the Poltergeist official YouTube channel, which boasts numerous investigations in just two years, released this video on July 14, 2020, where investigators Danny Sanchez, Paco Medrano behind the camera and their guests to the instrumentation, patrol at night this complex, completely devoid of electricity. The boys patrolled the whole building, the bathrooms, the central hall and the offices, hearing various noises, which although disturbing, they try to attribute to animals in the area, they hear grunts, voices and perceive intense cold in some areas, but when they decide to close the central security door, something truly inexplicable happens. Guíanos a donde estás. No, 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 la trabaste. ¿Viste que la había dejado cerrada? La trabaste. The noises increase, and the terrified group don't know where to look, when something really inexplicable shows up, on the other side of the room, something absolutely scary. A dark shadow appears for a few moments in front of the second door, then disappears a few seconds later. In the last sequence of images, it seemed to me, that the shadow disappeared very quickly on the right. What do you think about it? We will follow the guys, from Poltergeist Official in the next episodes, so stay tuned. The Shadow Man of the Living Room On January 12, 2015, the YouTuber suspects Sky, usually dedicated to researching and publishing videos, on unidentified flying objects and the mysteries of space, published an interesting documentary on shadow people. The video in question, contains a collection of various testimonies from all over the world, the one we are going to see, shows the shots taken by a Californian couple, following inexplicable noises in the house, falling objects, closets that open by themselves. In the video you can see how the two spouses, visibly frightened, don't realize they are shooting something really clear and absolutely terrifying. What the hell was that? Um, no, but your fucking fridge is shutting all by itself. No, like it was closing as I came out here. It was closed. I locked the door, right? Yeah, you locked the door when we got back from Publix. I'm... You're... No, the cabinets, it sounded like a cabinet door slammed and then your I come out and your fridge door is shutting as I'm coming out. You didn't see that? And your dogs are freaking out. 
I'm really freaked out right now. That was clearly your kitchen, and then your fucking door's shutting. Look, I'll fucking put it up on the computer and you can look at it. Seriously? No, it's- oh my god, here, I'm just gonna- it's- it's seriously from that one. Dude, I don't know what's happening. Is somebody in there? No, 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 find one. Find something. If somebody's in there, they need to come out. It would seem, that the woman accidentally filmed one of the myths, a mystery discussed for millennia, the shadow people. Are we facing a real proof or is it just a fake? Let me know. Group of 30 The next story, is that of an American couple, Christine and Nick, who decided to buy a house a few years ago in upstate New York. From the moment Christine and her husband have inhabited the house, she declares that, she could hear footsteps on the second floor, apparition out of the corner of his eye, and even human voices. Christine also declares that the house is 140 years old, and several families have lived, tired of all these anomalies she decides, to investigate further with suitable equipment. And the results, are absolutely shocking, let's see. How many ghosts are here? During the session with the spirit box, Christine is visibly amazed. She gets clear and immediate answers, 30 entities roam the house, including her mother who died in 2009. But it is the Kinect session, which will leave her, and her husband Nick, completely shocked. Oh my god, look at that. We got one on the trash can, and one over in front of the counter, right over there. Can you wave your hand? That one did. He's gone. Can you kick your leg out for me? <laughs> Can you disappear? It did, I saw it. Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> there he is. There you are. Oh my god, he's like floating. <gasps> he's ran into the kitchen. Oh, there you are. Another interesting testimony, of a conversation with the deceased entities. We will be following Christine, in the next episodes. You can see the full video on Christine's official YouTube channel, Destination Beyond Paranormal. Dear A Read Mystery fans, for tonight it's all, thanks for watching, for your comments and for the support if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to be notified. See you next week, with a new video, and new stories. Good night.